So I have a, I have a suggestion for you, and I yeah. think this will help a lot of our listeners. So, so here's my suggestion is I would use, if, if you're able to access it, the Saddleback Church Facebook page and, and do a post and target that audience. So you could target people that live in Virginia. So only mm. people in Virginia can see this post in Facebook. So, so, so many people with email addresses and databases, they're all about segmenting. You know, like we want to get this segmented list. But the reality is, is Facebook will segment our list for us and our list being our Facebook page likes and we can target all of our posts. So as you have a women's ministry event, sure, it might be okay for a husband to see it and share it with their wife, but really it's going to be irrelevant to most of those people and Facebook isn't going to show it to your core audience. If you will segment your Facebook list through those marketing type posts and say, we're only going to show these women, women's ministry events to women or this men's Bible study event to men that fit this demographic or students or whatever, whatever the group might be, Facebook allows us to segment uh, in, in our, our post. And so anyways, I would try that with what you're doing that. is try to take the people that like out of church. So obviously that's not normal for a lot of churches to have people all over the U S in their page. What you're doing is very unique. Uh, but I, but I do think that it transfers in w- when it comes to just from a segment and audience and what you're trying to specifically communicate to a niche audience within your greater audience. Yeah. I love that. I, I, you know, another idea outside of that, I think a way for your church, uh, if you're a medium church is, especially if you're thinking about, um, multi-site, that's very popular. Obviously a lot of churches, that's probably the more premier way of planting yeah. multiplying, um, in this, in the last couple of years is you could use this regional meetup idea Yep. as a precursor. So before, so a, a lot of times you go straight to planting a multi-site. So you're going to maybe cure your, your database from email addresses to addresses. Maybe, you know, you, you filter that with membership, small groups, whatever, giving, 